Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? Oh, bud? yeah, you dumb son of a bitch. I didn't know we were bringing Stone Cold I'm out. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of old wrestling. So. I know. The other day you were posting on your story that you were watching wrestling. I was with my daughter. Yeah. Mommy, was it- Mom was away. Mommy was away for the weekend. Right. So, daddy daughter time was watching Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Got it. You know, calling people son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, yes. <laughs> uh, flipping people off. Right. You know, giving, giving the power finger as do we do, called it. Do, is this demonetize? Uh, it's got to be to a degree, right? I'm not, but I'm not doing it to like. The the Lord. Well, I'm I doing well, it. Well, now you did. Well, yeah. You pointed like, up at yeah, him. But I'm taking it back. Take I'm it going back. down to the devil. Fuck De- the devil. Well, fuck the devil. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I th- and fuck the middle too. The present time. Who's the middle? Oh. I think us. We're the middle. I don't think we should fuck the middle as much as we should fuck the bad part of the middle, which is the lower middle. The poor, you mean? No. <laughs> I don't think of everything in terms of socioeconomic status like you do, Joe. <laughs> fuck the poor. Oh. First of all, I was making a joke. I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, I was forgot. I was watching Thirty Rock, and the guy was like, "Yeah, like the war on the homeless." Oh no, it was like the, <laughs> like he said something along like like the war on the poor, and she's like, "You mean the homeless?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but um. So talk to me. You, you, you're you're lighter. I can tell that you're lighter just by looking at you. Well, yes, because one, I have been working out more, but two, I know exactly what you're referencing. You stupid son of a bitch. What happened to you? I lost a couple pounds because I would say like a pound and a half. Well, that even that even might be a bit much. Frank, that is a stupid amount of <laughs> fucking weight. I got waxed. Frankie got a Brazilian wax on Man's, our Patreon. Manzillion, as a they Manzillion, call it. because a Brazilian is for women, and you're not a woman. I'm not. A, well, I'm. She might have tore off my bits and kibbles. So yeah. I might be a woman now. That's true. He may be. Uh, no. Well, we had said for those of you guys that have not been watching week by week, which if, fuck, what's wrong with you? If we got to ten thousand patrons, uh, I would get a Brazilian, a man, manzillion, as it was so lovingly called, right? Uh, by our esthetician. And is um, that how you pronounce that? Please tell me you were saying esthetician, bro. I don't even like. I would see that word in some girls' Instagram bios and be like. Ah. It's fake. That's what no, you would say. I, no, I would just be like, I don't know. Go, gotcha. <laughs> you know? Okay. It was just too much for me. I was just like, es, 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 whatever yeah, it is. It, it could be a bit. I um, also didn't know what it was. Is well, that think what of like is? Estee Lauder. What the fuck is that? You know what Estee Lauder is? They're like a like a beauty product company. Oh, I thought that was like a like an actor. No, no. Uh, but just put esthetician. Got it. Yeah, no. It's easy. I got it now. Yeah. I can repeat words. I just didn't know how to <laughs> pronounce it. You didn't know how it. to read yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but that good old, you know, private high school fucking education. <sighs> you know. But also, so here's what happened. On our Patreon, uh, we hit 10,000 patrons, which thank you guys so much. Uh, and for every thousand, we usually do something. Uh, and uh, for 11,000, uh, I'm going to jump in a shark tank. And uh, <laughs> that's gonna suck. There's dude. a there's a place out in Long Island that allows you to jump into a shark tank. So I'm gonna do that when we hit eleven thousand. But we passed ten thousand. Frankie said he was gonna get a, a Brazilian wax on his osso. Uh, well, you said it. You said it. I, I didn't say it. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Let's let's go back a, a couple minutes. You said it. This is like one of those like David Koresh, you know, uh, Jim Jones types of situations where like I Estee am Lauder type stuff. Estee Lauder. <laughs> yeah, I am living under your cult. Okay. So, like, you didn't have to say it, but you would be like, wow, it'd be great if someone got a manzillion. That's not true at all. <laughs> I can't, honestly. Yo, roll the of, tape back. I don't remember. Out of thin air, you were like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was no, like, what? No, no, no. I don't think I said out of thin air. I think it was probably in conversation. We weren't talking about, like, the weather, and I was just like, I'll get a Brazilian wax. No, we were, I think it was on the show. Well, and you were just like, oh, 10,000, I'll get a, a wax. I was like, fire. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and uh, we got it done last week. Yeah. Um, there is a video coming out on the Patreon. By, well, by the time the general public sees this, it's out. Yeah. By the time the patrons see it, because patrons on that first tier, guess what? They see this early. Uh, they, if you're watching this on Patreon, it's coming out tomorrow. So it'll come out Tuesday, May 2nd on Patreon. It's over 20 minutes long. And we do have a clip, a little sizzle reel, <laughs> <laughs> that we'll play on right now. Uh, play on right now. We'll play, yeah. uh, I was going to say on the show and also right now. Uh, so we're going to play it on right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we we, uh, ha- we drove out to Long Island and Frankie got a Brazilian wax. And if you don't know what that means, that means they waxed his pubic area, his shaft, his balls. balls and my gooch. His gooch and his hole. And my asshole, yes. Right. So the Just- whole shebang is now slick. It is, uh, it is fast. 
Yeah. It is like it is water's just fucking flying off. It's the like end. action park back there. It's like oil. I mean it's dangerous, basically. That's fucking dope. Yeah. Is it, it feels cool in the shower? Um I I, I honestly I think it's weird. Like the part that I really feel is I'm always feeling like I'm sitting in a puddle. Mm. I don't know what the hair did, but I guess it like absorbed the moisture. So it took it it took the hair out and put a bucket of water in. Yeah, basically. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now the, the esthetician at the end, I don't know if it's in the video, uh, but at the end I said like, what should I expect? And she's like, do you make noise when you fart? And I was like, no, not, not really. And she's like, well, you will now. <laughs> and I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. And, and like, we joked around about it. It sounded like gunshots. It sounds like fucking gunshots. Really? You're fucking clapping over to, there? In order to, I had to test the theory out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when in Rome, yeah. you know, ride a gondola. Right. And well, yeah. So I was alone and That's Venice, I think. Okay. Regardless. <laughs> I was alone and I was just like, let's see what happens. Bro, it literally was cat 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 cat. There was a lot of It was it was it sounded like someone was firing off an AK in my backyard. It was a drive by, yeah. It it was a little scary and uh I feel lighter. I feel uh very hairless. Mm. The first like day and a half, I was very raw and sensitive. <laughs> okay, uh, but I, I was so raw. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I was just like cursing at my wife. Yeah, that's raw. I don't know if it was because I was like emotionally damaged or if because the area was just like super sensitive. Yeah, hold on. Before we get any further, let's roll the clip. Yeah. So you guys can see what it is. If you want to join the Patreon at eleven thousand, I'm gonna jump in a Shark Tank. Twelve thousand. We're probably we're gonna have to up the ante even more. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do, but Joey's gonna get a. I'm gonna do the Brazilian on Joey. That's not happening. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh, but yeah. So here's the clip. Enjoy. Frankie is going to arrive here, and I will be taking him to his Brazilian wax appointment. Wait. So are you going in my ass? Mm, yes. Uh, cool. Oh my God! What are you doing? Uh, whoa! How? Hello. Good morning. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I, I almost choked. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I'll, I'll call you in a couple hours. Okay. okay. This is my balls! <laughs> Grown men do this? Yes. Voluntarily? Yes. Are you okay? No. All right. You, you don't care. Unclench your legs. I, you're asking me to fight nature. Down right through its gooch. Got it. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna pull. Pop that for... <laughs> I fucking hate you, dude. <laughs> uh, so there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. I will say this. Yeah. Uh, I've gotten it done. She was a nice lady. She too. was really nice. Uh, Except, well, at one point in the video, spoiler alert, she calls you a pussy. She calls. She, she does absolutely. Yeah. Um, she also talks. She's very. She was kind of demeaning. I liked it. And oh, did you? For you. For, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that she was doing she, that. Someone too. else was doing it instead of you this time, right? <laughs> it was nice to watch you get demeaned. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Right. Uh, I, she, she was good at what she did. What she did was not good for me, though. Yeah, she ripped your balls out. Yeah, she, she really did. Was she uh, like, uh, she t did she touch your rim at one point or something? Well, she had not like with like fingertips. Well, she was but like gloves. she she was like there, there were points where she had to put powder. <laughs> That's like <laughs> there's something. What's weird is that this is what my daughter does when she's hungry. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> we're talking about your asshole for God's yeah, sake. Well, you, you know, uh, but like when she like put powder in it, she like she like card swipe. Oh, she credit card. Yeah, she credit carded me, and uh, it was really weird. I think the yeah. the biggest thing was I was real uncomfortable. Well, yeah. Uh, it was really, really uncomfortable. Well, your face down ass up. For a part of it, but I, yeah. like, oddly enough. I, <laughs> that was the best part? That was the <laughs> you felt the most comfortable <laughs> face down Listen, ass up. I'm not going to confirm nor deny, but I, that was not the worst part. So, what you're saying it. is Doggy Style is your favorite? <laughs> It, it was a fucking experience, which, guys, if you, for some reason, are not patrons, you're missing out on this video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Please go to patreon.com uh, slash the basement yard. We, we're over 10,000, and we really, really appreciate it. Uh, if we get to 11,000, which we're only, as of recording, about like seven, seven yeah. and change away, yeah. Joey's going in a shark tank, which he says he's pumped about. I know, Joey. I'm not, like, pumped. I'm, like, I'm, like pumped like i gotta like do this shit. you're pumped that it's not like I'm, a, your... I'm afraid of sharks you know it's, what I mean? you're not getting your bussy waxed that's yeah, why you're no. pumped like i'm afraid of sharks and like i'm not 
like that cool with the ocean. And I'm not that we're going in the ocean, but it's ocean life. Ocean life, yeah. Well, ocean life is not for cool. sure. Sharks, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll yeah. See. So <laughs> Frankie's got so mad at me during the shoot. He's like, when you jump in that tank, I'm throwing chum in. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing. I'm gonna fucking like prick my finger, and there's blood going in that water, babe. I feel like I should pet a shark. Pet, pet like pet, like pet it. Yeah. Oh, maybe buy some chain mail. Go in and chain mail. Yeah, yeah. Just I don't know where you can buy. Well, actually, it. can I get out? If of I'm chain wearing, mail? No, I mean like if I jump in water and I got chain mail, that's very heavy. No, it's not. It's it's not that heavy. Chain mail? You could swim with chain mail on, dude. I don't know. I think you'd be all right. But all of this stuff is available for you guys at patreon.com slash the basement yard. That waxing video will be on Patreon against my will. Yeah. Uh, but no, it, it's on there. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. That second tier gets you exclusive episodes every single Friday. So guess what? Our patrons next week are going to be getting three episodes. They're going to be getting a weekly, a week in advance. They're going to be getting the waxing video, and they're getting an exclusive episode on Friday mornings at 7 a.m. Start yes. and end your week with the basement yard. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. That was a good. I'm getting better. Let's get a little sale. I'm getting there. Yeah. So uh, uh, tell me about your balls. <laughs> what do you want to know? Like, do they feel any different? Like, I, I'm assuming your asshole is like very slick and very wet. slick, very, very. How, are cold. Your, how are your butt cheeks? Are they like more like friends now? I, my butt cheeks were always cool, <laughs> you know. Um, my like, it, it's just inside. Like she, I think she had mentioned she's like, you'll know when you'll notice it when you wipe, and like, uh, no difference. Oh, really? No difference when I wipe. Uh, mainly because it's like sandpaper back there regardless. You oh, know? cool, cool, cool. Um, You're all torn up. I'm torn up from the ground up. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but the I would say the biggest thing is like I really don't notice it unless I'm peeing because then I grab my balls and it's just like, whose balls are these? Wait, you pee? You notice your Brazilian wax when you pee because you grab your balls when you pee? Yeah, you don't? Real quick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You don't grab your balls when One you pee? One second. When you go to the bathroom and you're standing, right, and you're yeah. peeing there. Yes. Instead of holding your penis, you grab your balls. I grab both. Like in one hand? Yeah. Why? <laughs> you grab your balls and, and dick in one shot, one mess. Yes. You just scrunch it all together and piss? Yes. Why? Is that weird? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I mean, considering the fact that no one else does that. How do you know? Did you run a fucking survey of the, the people of the world? Because why would you? There serves no perp. I think it's just, you know, like I'm there. Might as well grab everything in one shot, make sure everything is cool, copacetic, kosher, and available. Yeah, but... <laughs> God forbid I needed them. You know, they're there. What does grabbing the balls do for the piss? I think it just kind of makes everyone feel comfortable. Are you referring to your testicles? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't want to feel neglected. My balls don't get... They don't do much. I mean, they, you know, produce and provide... Life. You know, yeah, but... I think, like, everyone just wants a little love every now and then. So it's like the kids, you know? If you say you love one of the kids, make sure you say you love all the kids. You I know? have never cradled my balls while peeing. Oh, well, try it. You Doesn't might... that affect something? No, no. I don't got, like, fucking... How do you grab it? <laughs> do you, like, smush them? No, I don't smush them. I just kind of hold them there. I, oh, I can't even wrap my mind around Why? that. Why? Because it, it serves no purpose. I grab my penis. No, and I'm I'll tell, directing and I'll tell it. you. I'll tell you why I started doing this. Because a couple of uh, while back on another episode, I I explained that when I pee, I use the the part of my pants. You just unzip your jean hole, and everything comes out. Wait, oh, I didn't know that. I've said this before. If you're wearing jeans, I am right now. You won't unbuckle them. No, you'll just zip it down. Yes. and pull your dick. And balls out of it yeah. to take a piss. And then on top of that, you will hold your dick and balls yes. through this gene yes. hole. Yes, and I'll tell you why. Because I don't care why. <laughs> well, no, there's logic to it. Frankie, there's zero logic. There is definitely logic to it. And the fact that you are reacting as you are reacting shows me that you don't understand the logic. You're fucking right about that. <laughs> You're right. Listen, it is. it makes sense because the teeth of your zipper could be a little scary. They could be a little jagged and rough. So when I pull everything out, instead of letting them like hang and fall, uh, you know, and maybe a little crack or you know a little sneaks into the teeth of the zipper, I just hold them so the zipper doesn't affect it. You know, it was a more effective way of not letting the zipper affect it, uh. unbuttoning that cool little button at the top, <laughs> and then just 
folding your pants out and presenting your dick and balls to the earth. <laughs> just like a tulip? Yeah, and then nothing touches the zipper. I, You're I, over there jamming it through a hole, a zipper hole. Well, Joey, it's a lot easier... Dude, I I knew you took your I knew you peed through your gene hole, which is crazy. But the fact that you also That's pull literally your what balls it's out, fucking made for, Joey. Why is that crazy? I'm using what it is meant to be. It's not made to piss. It's meant to it's meant to have quick and easy access. It's made just to make the genes tighter. I think I don't know. <laughs> See, now you're wrong. Now no, you don't I, even no, know what you're talking about. No, in order to take them off, you have to like open it. You, yes. It's not a piss through. It's not a piss hole. Well, then they wouldn't have made it so easily no, accessible. It's not like Old Navy's like, oh, try these new jeans. These are the jeans. These are the pockets. This is the piss hole. No one says that. I, don't, I, I think you're wrong here. I really do. So what? In, uh, those sweatpants that have a zipper on the side of them, you piss out of that? <laughs> no, because because <my, laughs> I ain't reaching down there, yeah, Joey. Me neither. <laughs> but why would they have that? Uh, I think it's for people that have... Zipper pockets. Zipper, to, to, breastfeed out of them You don't something? use zipper pockets? No, I do. I mean, yeah. yeah. I use zipper pockets because they're, they're not there. for pissing. Well, they it doesn't matter what they're used it's for. It's for securing the pocket. Yeah, th that's for that's an easier way to have access to your dim ball. This is insane. No, it's not insane, Joey. I think that you well, you're whatever. such you're such like a literal person where it's like it was not made for your penis, so it's not going to be used for your penis. And it's like, "Well, bro, just fucking if it's there and it's easier access, just fucking use it." Do you know how much easier it is? To unbutton the button and to pull your zipper down and just have everything out like no. that. No, you are. I wear belts. Let me. I wear belts, Joey. Let me show you what you're doing. I wear belts. You're doing this. You're you're oh, great. You wear belts. You got one more second of taking your belt, no, bro. Off. Listen, these belts are a little tight because I I have lost weight, but it's, I'm still not where I want to be. Listen, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what you're doing, right? You go to the the fucking uh, urinal or whatever. Do you do this at a urinal? Of course I do. So you're you're at a urinal and you unzip your thing. I don't I don't I don't discriminate depending on where I'm peeing. <laughs> it could be in the woods. I'll do it there too. Listen, you think this is easier than just opening up your shit and just starting to pee? You're unzipping and then taking your hand and digging in yes. like a surgeon. Yeah. And then pulling out your balls and ween and then holding those. Yes. And peeing. Yes. Listen, I've been wrong on the show this. before. Watch this. Watch this. I've been I've been wrong on the show before. Right now is one of them. I will be. Astounded if people are like, yeah. All right, so we're gonna put out a poll. Dick and balls and through the gene hole. Dick and balls through the gene hole. Don't even, don't even, no, don't put which way do you pee because I'm sure people always pee the way that you're referencing. I'm saying, is it weird that I pee that way? I think most people will just say, no. <laughs> I think you're fucking. And wrong. I think that you're really offending half of the population, maybe even a little more than half of the population, the women that wish that they had a fucking zipper like that. Because I'll tell you this they do have zippers, you idiot. Yeah, but they can't piss out of it. That's not a. That's not the. What do you? Because they don't women, have penis. I, I bet. I bet if they did have uh, women jeans that like zipped underneath, they would use that for peeing. You think women that if they had a jean hole that zipped like this, they would just open their jean hole and hold it open and pee like that? It'd be a lot easier than having it. Basically, women have to get buck fucking naked if they want to pee sometimes. Yeah, if they're wearing a romper. But I didn't fucking build those. <laughs> You Most didn't. of them are wearing jeans. You didn't. You're right. You didn't. Or they wear those leotard things. I'm gonna time you right now. Oh, you're not, you're not wearing jeans. Are you wearing jeans? No, you're not I'm wearing, wearing jeans. Wearing sweatpants. I'm wearing jeans and a belt, and I guarantee it takes me longer to unbuckle my jeans, unbutton and unzip, and then retrieve the goods compared to just unzip retrieval. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but you have to fish it through a, a fucking a teeth hole. Well, if you're if you're uncoordinated, that could be a little tough. You know what? I'm gonna stand right here behind the cameras. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Are you gonna pull your new slick dick out? Your <laughs> new slick dick and balls. You're gonna pull it right out of the holes. Watch this. I'm watching Frankie. Ready? Go. Wait, right, hold, on, hold, on. hold on. Let me time it. Time it. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, if you go slower for one of these, I'm gonna go legit. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay. <laughs> Pull this out. Okay. All right. How long nine seconds. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Nine right. Seconds. That was my way. The nine seconds. <laughs> now you're gonna have to fish those out of that fucking I hole there. All right. Ready. <laughs> Put that fucking belt back on. Put it back on. This is ridiculous. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, he's digging all right. <laughs> seven seconds. Oh! 
Fucking Frankie's right again, baby. Right. But we can agree. And, and I fumbled a little bit. You but, saw. But I fumbled the ball a little we bit. We can agree, though, that... <laughs> One, you started with your hand on your zipper. What have the I done? One. What have I put on the internet over the last week? <laughs> we can agree, though. Your method looks way weirder. Because you were in there digging in there like there was like you were uh, fighting listen, something. Listen, I'm not in the bathroom to worry about being judged. I'm in there doing things that are against. They're sacrilegious as they are. I guess. <laughs> Let me guess. Let me guess. Let's get to the ads. No, 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 oh. no. no, no, no. Not too weird, yeah. I was all dumb. We were yeah. on to something. <laughs> Just pull this fucking t- <laughs> Your balls look great, by the way. They are slick. They really are, they are I must say. Slick. She said, uh, at the uh, the esthetician said, she goes, um, your wife is going to thank me. And Oh, no. I remember what she said. She did say that, but the one part that stood out to me was said that she was going to put you in positions that your wife never put you in. Yeah. <laughs> and Frankie's like... My wife's never put me in yeah, like, Of course. <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, uh, you'll be in positions that, that no no one's ever put you in. I was like, yeah, that, that sounds about it's right. Like, yeah, I've never been banged, so I don't. She's she's explained that she has some clientele that like really love the process. Yeah. And she was kind. She was a good sport for us being in there. Mm-hmm. Not getting a repeat customer out of me. Probably not. She said that there were people that go in there and get like erect. Yeah, they get super hard. And she actually said that uh, it uh, <laughs> it no. makes her job easier. Because when the skin is more taut, it makes it easier for the hair. Oh, to well, good for them. That's why at one point she was like, oh, pull. Pull your stomach up. She yeah, asked yeah. me to pull my stomach up. <laughs> for, not the first time I've been asked that. Um, pull your stomach up. Yeah. Uh, I, I cannot understand. I was so uncomfortable yeah, I cannot understand someone going in there and just being like, "I'm loving every second of this," and here's my erect PP. Yeah, what and what hurt more, the dick, balls, or asshole? Everything at this point is a blur. Yeah, uh, I think they like I and I said this in the video, which you guys will see if you haven't already. The whole process got worse Mm -hmm. but i'm not sure if it got worse because i just became more uncomfortable Mm -hmm. or if it hurt more it all sucked no way around it period you got your asshole credit carded that was the not the worst part the worst part was when it got shredded what got shredded my shawl let's get to the ads (laughs) (laughs) i was trying to walk you to a certain point (laughs) <laughs> All right, let's get to them. Let's right? do it, yeah. Shredded asshole, right into the ads. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love that we do that now. Okay, uh, the first how, one we have How here, we haven't had any advertisers pull out yet is beyond me. <laughs> oh, I've gotten emails. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's too fun, though. Okay, first one we have here, Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix, what is that? What, what, what could that possibly mean? Guys, it's like having your own stylist. You go on to Stitch Fix... And uh, you fill out their style quiz and you figure out, uh, you know, your height, weight, your sizes that you like to wear. You like a more relaxed fit or a more slim fit. Um, What kind of things you wear, what kind of patterns. You fill out all these things and then Stitch Fix will go to work for you and they will pull a bunch of items every single month uh, and help you figure out what you should be wearing. Or they'll like help you, still help you find a style, if you will. Um, But it's great. So definitely go uh, check out Stitch Fix. Uh, It's very useful if, like, you don't have a lot of time for shopping or whatever. And it's worth it just to take the style quiz and see, you know, what these people have to offer and what they pick. And and if it's all good, then boom. Every every single month you have, uh, like, new clothes to wear, and they go to work for you. Uh, You can sign up today at stitchfix.com slash basement. You'll get $20 off of your first purchase. Uh, That is stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off of your first purchase. Uh, limited time offer, by the way. Purchase within two days of sign up. Uh, spelled S T I T C H F I X dot com slash basement. Uh, and let's move on here to BetterHelp. All right. Uh, for BetterHelp, it is online counseling. Uh, a lot of people, especially at this moment, I feel like I read an article the other day that a lot of people left their jobs or they're working from home or whatever. Big moves in everyone's life so a lot of people are feeling a little bit overwhelmed or burnt out from work or, or something like that um, and better help can help with that I mean it's online counseling you can talk to a therapist you can text them you can talk to them and you also when you sign up you can talk to a you can find a therapist in just under 48 hours so you can start communicating that quickly they also make it very seamless to jump from 
you know, person to person so that you can find the right fit for you. Um, so yeah, therapy, definitely recommend it for everyone. I've been in it for two years now. It's amazing. I do it every single week. So yeah, you can also, you know, control the volume at which you will have sessions or whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's all up to you. It's great. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, BetterHelp is customized uh, online therapy. Uh, like I said, they have therapists that specialize in certain things too, like de depression or anxiety or whatever you're dealing with. Um, so yeah, go check them out. Uh, Basement Yard listeners get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Basement Yard. Uh, that is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Basement Yard. 10% off your first month. Get to it, folks. All right, moving on. Um, I thought that since we are talking about, or we were talking about your peanuts. My peanuts. Uh, there was a big story in the news uh, of a boy. Weird way to start that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a boy. It's all right, Joey. Tell me about this boy's penis that you were looking at. It was also a baby boy, so now I'm like really in a hole here. Yeah. Um, it's about a baby boy's penis. Why are we doing this? We should have got to the ads right now. Let's just get to the ads. Yeah, yeah. let's just go back to let's the ads. Let's go back to the ads. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there was a there was a boy who who had a what's the the term is called by Dick Wolf. No, diphalia. Diphalia. Fal fal Die Dif is two. Die, yeah. Dichotomy. Yeah. Die die. Just die please. Drop dead. Yes. Die please. <laughs> <laughs> um but no, a boy in uh San Paulo, Sao Paulo. Oh, back to the Brazilians. Yeah. Those bastards. Yeah, oh yeah, the Brazil yeah. wow. Yeah, I hate Brazilian. Them. Yeah, <laughs> I asked really quick sidebar. The esthetician I asked, I was like, "Why is it called a Brazilian? Who do we need to blame for this?" Yeah, who do we blame? <laughs> um, but yeah, a boy, a youngster, uh, was born with a uh, with diphalia, which means that you have two penises, and some of them are like, you know, you have a penis and then like a little little penis on like the side. Like a sidebar, of it. yeah. But this one was like a straight up double dicker. Double dicker. Yeah. Does it come with like the double like internal organs and stuff? Like if he's peeing, is it like one of those like wacky inflatable arm flailing tube men? They <laughs> they said that uh, so he had complete diphalia as opposed to only having an accessory penis or a stump. Uh, the unnamed patient was two years old by the time he had surgery for reasons that were not explained. Uh, also, they were different. They were different in size. The whole reason why this was even written. Uh, was because the doctors decided they had to take one off because one of them didn't urinate, but they both did that's get a problem. erect. Yeah, they both did get erect, which is that's the dream to have two erect penises. To have one dick for peeing, one dick for not. Well, yeah, I don't know the the medical why that you have to because there is a guy that has two penises, like a grown man. Like a big old big old man boy. Like a like two grown a grown man penises. Have you seen the penises? I have. How do they look? Like. Like two, like just also, like separate, like their neighbors, like it's like a it's yeah, like a like, duplex, like bro, like like you're drunk staring at a dick, two like family like, home, like I see two, pull it up, yeah, look, 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 um, what did I type in, two dick man, <laughs> double dicker, I wrote two dick man, yeah, happy Matt, dude, Whoa. these are cocks, dude, are they're both cocks, yeah, they're both, that's kind of fucked up, actually, give some to the rest of us, bitch, okay. One might be circumcised and the other one might not be. That that's a smart man. He's playing, you know, what do you like? Prefix menu. You know, take a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Here we go. Whoa, dude. Those are dicks. Those are <laughs> those are dicks. I'm pretty sure this dude did porn too. Those are those are Which I guess. I mean yeah. Oh, that's fake. Never mind. I was like, damn, that looks like a blooming onion penis. Because like there was like five dicks. Oh. But it wasn't a person. Oh. They were like dildos and then one penis. Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get to the end. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Could you yeah. imagine like? And I think that as you were saying, like the the bigger one was the one that was cut off. Right? Yeah, they got rid of the bigger one because that was the one that unfortunately that couldn't urinate. Damn, I'd be I'd be I'd be like, yo, just like fucking just go in there like an electrician, rewire that shit. And then get the smaller one. Yeah, out you'll of there. figure it out, bro. I got this ham on me. Like, go figure it out. Can you can you imagine if you had like one like three inch penis? <laughs> Could you imagine? And <laughs> can you even <laughs> can you even just put <laughs> imagine yourself in that position? I feel like it would feel probably like, like I feel now. Like, what do you like? What's going on? <laughs> Crazy. Um, no, uh, but like you had like a like a two incher, and then the other one was like a nine incher. Oof. I wouldn't want a nine inch piece. Of pe 
piece. I'll take, a pe- yeah. well, take, take You can take the piece. I was going to say pieces, but <laughs> I wouldn't want a nine inch penis. That to me seems like All right, a lot. seven and a half. Fire. That'd be, that's a pretty good piece. Nine is crazy, though. Nine, inches, nine well, is like, bro. That's another inch and a half that you don't need. Yeah, that's one that like gets people like talking like the town will know. People get so upset at like people like Elon Musk buying Twitter. Like he has so much money. What is he like? He's blowing it away, and it's like, yo, people like have so much dick. Like donate it, dude. <sighs> yeah. There's got to be a dick, do- a dick, dick donation center. I don't think you can, bro. I mean, you can't DDC it. Nah. Why not? I don't think so, bro. Just imagine like you would you cut it off at the base and just shorten it. Oh, just like it's a, it's got to be a fluid, right? Like it's got to be like I always think of like what are you Austin talking? Powers is Mojo from <laughs> the Spider Jack me yeah like just remove a little of that fluid and just just pump it into somebody else a little more deserving. Do you know what dicks are? It sounds like you think they're fluid. No, I know what they are, but like there's got to be a way to donate some of it, like a dick donation, dude. Also, like penises are muscles. Oh, you can't, but you can, that's the only muscle you can't get bigger. I know what the hell and your tongue, right? Tongue, you can't work on your tongue either. Isn't that strange? I believe this tongue is the strongest, like per per capita, it is the strongest <laughs> muscle in the body. It is, bro. I can. I, I Our have tongues sh- are like ants, mad strong for their size. They are. They're pretty big, <laughs> pretty strong for their size, bro. Ants can lift like humans if they wanted to. <laughs> I hate this show so much, dude. <laughs> what? The fuck? All I'm saying is like, think of like someone you know or no, someone you don't know. If they if they uh, were like okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> think of someone with a giant penis. Oh, um, all right, all I right, got think. one. Uh, Pete, okay, go. <laughs> you know what's funny is he is the most humble, non-humble big penis haver ever. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. hates when people talk about it. Yeah. Until they talk about it, and he's like, yeah, whatever. There's some curses though to be had with a big penis. <laughs> I don't I don't know that I would want a, a huge. Curse strong... with knowledge. Uh, like uh, Thanos in Infinity War, he said, "Like you aren't the only man cursed with knowledge." Yeah, dude, he's cursed. Pete, Pete's, Pete's cursed with, yeah, a big old problem. Yeah, he is because the, when we go on vacation and stuff, and like you, you sleep in your boxers, you know, and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, "I'm not gonna get like fully dressed. I'm in a house with my boys or whatever." Yeah, and he's walking around. Just a, he looks like he's got a dirty diaper on always. Yeah, he looks like he's got a full bag. Yeah, he looks like he honestly swear to God. Sorry, Pete. It looks like he's wearing boxer briefs and he pooped his pants <laughs> all the time. There's just something hanging. Yeah, dude. His underwear looks like a tote bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's going to be so pissed. He's going to be not happy. <laughs> and what's even funnier is there are people listening to this like, but it's not even that big. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I've, I've, I've never even like seen it. I've I've stared at it. No, no, I no feel not like in it, person. It's I, like Medusa. I, I you can look at it through a camera I, lens. I, yeah, exactly. It's like it's like a basilisk, <laughs> but you can't fucking yeah. change your secrets. You can look at it through a mirror. You look at it through. You mirror. look at it straight out. So you're petrified. You the- <laughs> <laughs> fucking god. You're petrified. petrified, bro. That's you're why people. Snake. You so you remember Hermione? <laughs> Fucking Moaning Myrtle over Moaning there. Myrtle's <laughs> fucking ghost ass. Oh my god. Bro. Where do you think they got the fucking. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, please give me. I'm gonna that. get a text. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get a text like, dude, not uh, cool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, but you gotta imagine, like, if people were like, yo, like, take an inch off me and give it to somebody else. If that were actually true, I would harass him. I well, I do think <laughs> I'd be like, bro, I'm, bro, your, I'm yeah. your boy. Yeah, your cousin, your blood. For God's sake. I do think that your like, blood, not my penis. I do think that there's like, for like cosmetic reasons or like like uh, like surgical like health reasons, you can get like a new penis. Yeah, of course. But I don't think for Dude, like you can make a penis out of a vagina. That's crazy. And your to me. arm, you take you take a skin graft of your arm and you form a penis, bro. My arm is way cooler than my penis. On other, pe- uh, other people's lives, we talked to uh, a guy who had a phalloplasty. Which is like rhinoplasty, but for phallus. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Rhino. Yeah, bri- phallus. I, you don't need to explain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said the word. So maybe, maybe at like 20,000 patrons, you get a penoplasty. Did you even listen to what I said? It's not called that. <laughs> Fallow? Yeah. Philodoplasty? You, I can't get a phalloplasty. I have a penis. Well, like, could you get, like, a cooler one? That 
is only a Google search. That's but. a Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, and see, like, I think you can. I think you can just get like a penis implant. I mean, I'm cool. I'm not like. Can you look it up? Just I, I don't have a just hang- a one just out of curiosity. <laughs> not, not for me. <laughs> not for me. For my boy who goes to another school. <laughs> I don't have a hankering for a for a bigger penis or anything. Yeah, no, I mean, like, obviously I'm fine too, but... I typed in hankering, and then hunk of cheese came up. <laughs> a hanker and hunk of cheese? Yeah. Sounds delicious. Oh, what am I looking up? Can you get penis implants? Can you get a bigger... Just penis implants is better. If you type in to Google, can you get a bigger... The first thing, can you get a bigger backpack in RuneScape? <laughs> It's been listening. It knows who it knows who your brother is. Oh my god! None of these things. Can you get a bigger stash in Escape from Tarkov? What is that? Escape from Tarkov is a video game. Can you get a bigger diamond in your engagement ring? Jesus! Dude. What am I? A bigger penis? Okay. Penis implants, dude. Many men believe that increasing the size of the penis will make them a better lover or make them more attractive, but chances are your penis is within the normal range. If your penis is smaller than average, it may not matter to your partner. In addition, there's no proven way to make a penis larger. Really? That's surprising. That's Mayo Clinic. Bro, uh, the uh, the way that the world has been run by men for the last fucking 22,000 years, and we haven't figured out a way to get bigger wangs. <laughs> there's a fucking WebMD <laughs> article, and I just imagine. Because <laughs> WebMD is like, oh, you want a bigger penis? There's actually no way to do it. By the way, you got cancer. Yeah, you got, you got, a, you're in it, you got an issue. By the way, does your head hurt? You better go get that. Yeah, checked it's like uh, headache and toothache. What does it mean? Toe cancer. You're gone. Yeah, you're, you're done. Diabetes is on its way. It's a wrap. Um, what are we talking about? Getting a new penis. Yeah, I don't think that that's happening. I'm yeah, well, a lot that. of people say, you know, it's not it's not the size of the ship. It's the motion of the ocean. Well, usually people Big say, ships can go overboard, too. People say boats, but yeah. <laughs> ship, boat, potato, tomato. Is there, is there a, a difference between a boat and a ship? I feel like a ship is like a bigger one. I think a ship is... Like a ti- the Titanic was a ship. Yes, because it was shipping things. I think a boat is just like a cool thing. Oh. Yeah. Like the Titanic was like shipping people. Bro, you know I never you put never, that together. never put that together? Not once. Really? If it's moving cargo... Goods... It's a ship. Yeah. If it's just if people are just like hanging out, drinking beer and doing blow, it's a boat. Got it. Yeah. Falling in love with poor men, you know, but, teaching them how to spit or they're teaching you how to spit. What the fuck are you talking about? The fucking Titanic. Movie. Oh, 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 yeah. No, Titanic was a ship. Bro, have you seen the comparison of what the, like, the size of the Titanic compared to like current cruise lines? Tiny, right? Bro, it's like a third the size, probably like way more. Dude, you came to the beach when we were in Key West, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was nuts. We went to the beach when we were in Key West, and a fucking cruise line thing drove a boat, drove by. It was the biggest thing I've ever— It looked like the Empire State Building, like, on its side, yeah. driving. This is going to sound weird to you because you, you don't think this way. <laughs> but have you ever, like, been driving or you're looking at, like, the horizon and you're like, yo, I wonder what it would be like if fucking Godzilla just popped up? I do that all the time. Okay, good. I want to make sure that it's not <laughs> all just All the time, dude. Bro, this was that. It was one minute, everyone was just... And then you just saw fucking the, the Godzilla thing. of the Norwegian cruise ship yeah. just coming through. And it was, it was huge. Massive. You know what else I do? Hmm. Whenever I'm... Uh, this happens in Connecticut a lot. If I'm staring at a bunch of mountains, I just picture fucking water coming over the top of the Oh, like, I do too. I'm, like, oh, I'm dead. I do too. <laughs> you know? I do too. I, I don't know why, why do we do that? We put ourselves in these situations in order to like convince ourselves that we would survive. Like, oh, I don't think I'm going to survive. Oh, I, I, I think like, oh, all I need to do is, and then I'd be good. All of the time I'm wrong. Yeah. But I like to think, like I've always like thought to myself, like if I fall from a building, just grab onto something when the reality is I probably wouldn't be able to grab onto anything. Yeah, because you'll be flailing. Well, or, you know, just like if I were to hit something, it, the impact would fucking break my arms. That too. Or my chest. Right. You know, cave my chest in. But, oh, I do that all the time. The one that gets me, though, is like, do you remember when you're know, growing up in Astoria, we would hear a lot of like, out of nowhere, it would just be like, and it was because of, <laughs> what the fuck? Because of how close we lived to the airport. And it would be like, on like a super. Is that a plane? Yeah. <laughs> That's your interpretation. 
<laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though. You definitely do. A plane flying overhead. Yes, but that sound that like echoes that comes with it. Right, okay. I've always thought to myself, like, what if that's just a fucking wave coming to take us out? Or like, what if an asteroid is hit and it's just like the fire is coming for us? Yeah. It'd be crazy, right? Well, you remember when that fucking thing at Con Ed exploded? I thought a Alien. nuke hit and I was like, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were Damn. counting. Uh, that was terrifying. So yeah. I've been woken up in a couple dreams by like seeing an asteroid in the fire getting me and it's fucking freaky. Seeing an asteroid yeah. and the fire getting you? What does that mean? Yeah, like the impact of the asteroid. Oh. And you've never seen any fucking movie with an asteroid. You said the fire. I it, don't. Yeah, it hits, and then the fire goes out, and that's what in- gets everything around it, you know? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was, a, there was a, a prank show that did that. They set up in a room like this for an interview with someone, <sighs> and they had a window like that one, but it was a TV screen. Oh, I've seen this. And they have it look like an asteroid hits oh, and the no. lights are going out. Bro, I I swear to God, I, I'd fucking lose my mind. I'd, pe- I'd I'd probably die from the stress. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was like a like an Asian game show or like a, maybe it was like a TV commercial or something. Whatever it was. It, it was, it was it genius was, marketing. Oh, my God. Absolutely bro, genius. Japanese game shows are the best ever. <laughs> ever. And a lot of them... Don't make any sense. Yeah, I saw. There was a whole show. Well, a lot of game shows anyway don't make sense. But there was a whole show of people walking around a room and just eating, ran- like trying and biting things because some of the things are chocolate. Ooh, that sounds pretty. So cool. they're like trying to eat a desk, and it's like, no, that's that's a desk. That's a desk. <laughs> and then they eat like the door handle, and it's like, no, that's chocolate. So they eat it, and they're like, oh, it's chocolate. That's I the whole be, show. I'd be very good at that. But how do you win? And how do you find, lose? Find the most chocolate. Whoever doesn't find chocolate loses. Bro, I would put my mouth on everything in this room. If you thought it was chocolate? If it was a, a game show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be biting the desk, too. I'd be biting. I have been wanting to get on a game show so bad. I really think that when, when that show Floor is Lava came out, I thought me, you, and Danny could have crushed it on there. <laughs> that would have been something. And then, obviously, our failed bid at getting on Legends of the Hidden Temple. Motherfucker. Which, guess what? Haven't seen the show, so fuck you. Joke's on you because you didn't have us on we it. We would have brought some viewership, you bitch. Absolutely. Who who are you getting? Who are you getting? A fucking cool, you know, a high school kid S- from Iowa? Some stupid white family. Oh, yeah. Tell me about how much the person from Des Moines needs the money. Yeah. They probably do. <laughs> probably do. Des Moines. Yeah. Uh, but... I remember seeing one Japanese game show that was like they put their head up and a fucking lizard runs at them. You never saw that shit? It was like a table and there are holes cut out and a person have to like whoever keeps their head above the hole the longest wins. And the reason that you don't keep your head up is because there's a fucking lizard in the middle that like runs at you if you pick your head up. Does it bite? I assume it would. You've never seen this shit? After we get off, I want to show you that. The lizard head show? No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you remember MXC? The greatest show ever. Bro, I always wanted to be on that shit. And the dubbing was just like... Awful. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it was a good time. It was. Those are good shows. And also the prank shows are really great too. I once saw a prank on some like Japanese show where a guy <clears throat> goes to the bathroom. He's in a hotel room, right? Like on top of a ski resort. And he goes to the bathroom... And when he's on the toilet, shitting, the the fucking whole bathroom breaks away from the building and is on skis. Yo. And he's skiing down the back of a mountain looking behind him on a toilet, <laughs> shitting with his pants down. That would be awesome. That's fucking amazing. That would be... How do you even get, sign a release form for that? I don't think they care much about releases because they're all just good sports like, yeah, we'll in figure Japan. It out. Like they're yeah. all just like you know, like all right, like they're 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 not gonna like yeah. you'd want to be on something like that because that's pretty cool. That's fucking the ones, hilarious. The ones that get me, I don't know if you saw this one. It was like people went in an elevator and they like rigged an elevator with like a trap door, and like the air in the elevator, they feel it stop, the lights go out, and then like a little like girl looking like she's from the ring pops up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something right now, bro. I'm I'm fight. I swear to God, I'll swing on them. Yeah, I I, I will. I honestly would not do well. That girl's getting hit. Yeah. Don't put me in that situation. Don't bro. put me in that situation because, listen, I, I, when I get afraid, we saw it on uh, uh, the waxing. When I'm in trouble and my body senses fear or, yeah. or pain, 
it gets pushy. Yeah, it does. You know? <laughs> so uh, I, I would want to yeah. probably hit the kid. Yeah, don't put any like little scary demonic children around me because I will punch them in the face. Let's get to these ads. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails. Never fail. This is why he's. This is why he is who he is, baby. Oh. This is why you got what you got, dog. <laughs> I can't wait to get an email. Like uh, the advertisers would prefer if you didn't lead into <laughs> this by saying you're little children. It's all right. Um, not my kid. Uh, if they're ghosts, I'm gonna think they're yeah, an just actual ghosts, ghost. Bro. Regu- I'll punch Reg- a ghost. I don't care how old, how young. Yeah, no, I'm a demon is getting these hands. Yeah, regular children I won't hit unless they're mine. Maybe I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Better help. <laughs> Actually, no. What we have here is Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh is gonna teach you how to be a good cook because what they do is you go on their website, you pick out the meals that you want, and they have great meals, uh, organic stuff. They have. Certain, if you're like keto or you're like, you want to have a low calorie meal, you can pick out whatever you want, vegan, doesn't matter. They have everything that you need on there, good ingredients, uh, farm to tape. Uh, they have new menus all the time. They have Mediterranean recipes, like all types of stuff. It's not just like, you know, chicken tenders and cheeseburgers or anything like that. Healthy stuff as well. Um, but you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your door. Um, and then you also get the recipe that you've picked out and they teach you how to cook it and you make it. You get to keep the little thing, make a little cookbook for yourself so you can remake it another time. Um, but it's great. So if you wanted to get into cooking or, you know, you just don't have time to go food shopping or anything like that, uh, this is perfect for you. Also, not to mention, this is more affordable than food shopping. And it's definitely more affordable than going to a restaurant who can even afford to do that nowadays. Uh, so uh, go check out HelloFresh, uh, HelloFresh.com slash Basement16. Use that code Basement16 for up to 16 free meals. And three free gifts, okay? So, again, that is HelloFresh.com slash Basement16. And use the code Basement16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Uh, I can never say that. Three free gifts. Um, So, yeah, go check them out, HelloFresh. Let's see how good you guys are at cooking. And lastly here, we have Stamps.com. Stamps.com, long friend of the show. Uh, They are an amazing... Uh, company and our website, I should say, and they take all of the uh, things that you do at the post office, and you can now access access them online 24/7. Um, so it's very convenient, and not only it, be, it being convenient, so because you don't have to go to the store, possibly wait in a line or anything like that, but you also get discounts that you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off of USPS shipping rates uh, and 86% off UPS. So you're getting, you're saving time, you're saving money, and you get to do it from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a computer and a printer. Um, so if you're a small business that's, you know, sending out packages all the time, or, you know, you're mailing this and that or whatever, use stamps.com. It is the place to go. Uh, start mailing and shipping with stamps.com and keep more money in your pocket every day. You can sign up with the promo code basement for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale, no long-term commitment or contracts. Um, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and enter the code basement. All right, there you go, folks. <sighs> okay. What the hell were we talking I, about? I consistently am shocked at how we go from talking about one thing to just going elsewhere. I had all this stuff written down, and now I don't... Why don't you tell me? How is it watching me get waxed, Joey? Which, again, if you're not a patron, patreon.com slash the basement yard video will be there. It's well worth it. We get to 11,000. Joey's going to get eaten by a shark. Good times. I get my fucking bussy waxed yeah. right now. <laughs> Patreon.com slash the Patreon. Get my fucking bussy waxed. How was it watching me get waxed? Did you feel any pain, regret? Pain? Well, like I had a headache. Second hand. You, you had a headache. From laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I couldn't breathe at points. Okay. Because you'd get waxed and then <laughs> a lot of the times you were just screaming. Yeah. Um, but there would be the times where she, <laughs> you, <laughs> she would rip one of the things and then you just... <laughs> Right at me. Like, this was all my fault. You were just like... It, well, it kind of is, but also not. Yeah. You know, I, I own my You were decisions. a trooper, man. I, I Thank you. I own my decisions uh, and wear them well, I think. Yes. But you got to do what you got to do, you know? Of course. Um, and what better way to, to wrap up this episode than talking about this article. Frankie texted this to me, and I have no idea what it's about, so we're kind of going to read it together in a way. Um, but the headline is U.S. College offers course that lets students, teachers, 
watch pornography together. Yeah. Just call it porn. You don't need to use the porn, porn one on one. You don't need to use its government. Pornography. That just feels like geography. Are we talking about like? Yeah, like land oh, and yeah, shit. you know, who's a pornograph- pornographic person? Yeah. I don't know. There was a joke in there, but I'm you know, a little hungry. Yeah. I'm a little hungry. Um, but yeah, I don't. I like. Did you read into this at all? Like, yes. Yeah, so there's a school in. I believe. Hold on. Hold. I found the thing. Okay. I'm sorry that I. <laughs> I immediately asked your, you to explain. I was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, your show, Joey. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is what the course is. It's called film asterisk uh, three hundred o porn. Two credits. Two credits, by the way. That's an elective, baby. That's a, that's a, people are watching that for fun. Um, and this is the beginning of it. It just says hardcore pornography is an American, is as American as apple pie and more popular than Sunday night football. Never really thought about it that way. <laughs> Our approach to what this. What do you watch more often, porn or football? If football was on more. Uh, a Sunday, a, a week, a typical week. Yeah. In football season. What do you watch more, porn or football? Definitely football. Really? It's the whole day. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Like, it's the whole day. Yeah, and you're born, you watch for maybe like 30 seconds. <laughs> right, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, hardcore pornography is American as apple pie and more popular than Sunday Night Football. Our approach to this billion-dollar industry as a, both a cultural phenomenon that reflects and reinforces sexual inequities, in parentheses, but holds the potential to challenge sexual and gender norms. Excuse me. Uh, and as an art form that requires serious contemplation. We will watch pornographic films together and discuss the sexualization of race, class, and gender, and as a, an experimental radical, and then I got cut off. Hey, so hold on. <laughs> that's the, that's the that's song. That's not the that's porn. porn song. <laughs> that was a random <laughs> ad that was playing. That's porn song. That's the porn song. No. <laughs> Say porn song again. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Is... I, I have openly said that I, I, I think porn is strange. I don't watch porn. Oh, shit. This is in Utah. Yeah, bro. It's in fucking Mormon backyard. Wow. That makes this even more interesting. Because back there, do, they, do the Mormons believe in porn? Or do they like, yo, no alcohol, no porn, Dude, nine no. wives? Mor- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mormons, they wear a certain, <laughs> not that this has anything to do with porn, but they wear like this thing to bed. Huh? They wear like a onesie, like the dudes wear like this onesie. Oh, like those old timey, like yeah. oh, I love Lucy with the fucking little hat. But no hats. But the thing, it's a onesie. Why? Like tradition. What did the did God say that they couldn't fucking wear it, nothing to bed? That that's very confusing. They dress like uh, Grandpa Joe <laughs> from, from Willy from, Wonka. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what it is. Uh, I have out the porn game. Is there something I'm missing? Is is current porn like trying to be like super progressive with its approach to watching someone get fucking bukkakeed? Uh, not the kind I watch. <laughs> <laughs> like that's why that's why I pulled this up because one Utah crazy it's happening there. Oh yeah, that's you've that's been like literally the last state that I you've was been. At. Yeah, and you can confirm like they have like different beers there. Yeah, all their beers are they every major beer company makes a separate batch of their beer for Utah That's specifically. That's so weird. It's the only state that has like these things. Like beers are like 3%, whereas like a Bud Light, it's usually 4.2 and White Claws are usually 5%. Both of those are 3% in Utah. That's so weird. Yeah. But um, then like the idea that like they're going to watch hardcore porn, because they very specifically say hardcore porn. That's the first word of the class description. It's hardcore pornography. Is as American as apple pie? What? That I, I would say probably more American than apple pie. Mm, also, apple pie is trash. Yeah, I don't like apple pie. What's Fucking more American? Right. What's like? What's a good representation? Uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Fucking uh, baseball. Racism. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But social inequities. Yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't see how watching porn with like people in a class, bro. Someone's getting caught jerking off in this class, dude. I, maybe not jerking off, but definitely like, if you sit me in a classroom and put on porn for an hour, at a certain point, my penis is gonna be like, should I be hard? And then maybe it gets a little dropped, hmm. and then I'm in class, dog. Don't ask me a question. Yeah, it's it's a weird, it's a weird thing to to sit in because like apparently they're gonna go through class. 
gender normities and stuff like that. I don't, hey man, I don't think that's why people are going to sign up for it. Yeah, like, wh what was it? It was, uh, we will watch pornographic films together and discuss the sexualization of race, class, and gender as an exper. You're talking about, like, ebony teen, yeah. e ebony petite teen? Yeah, ebony petite teen gets, gang, gets gang bashed. you know, yeah, fucking, like, all, and I, I, there's actually a really good documentary called After Porn Ends. I think there's like two or three of them. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it, but. Bro, it's really good. And one of them, I don't remember if it's the first or the second one because there's only two I've seen, but they talk about like the uh, like class representation and race representation in porn. And like, it's like, you're basically, it's okay to get away with like openly racist portrayals of people. Like anytime it's, you know, a, a black American, it'll be like, you know, a uh, black gangbanger, you know, takes little petite Southern belle <laughs> to the fucking prom in her hole, you know, like, <laughs> and, and it's just like, it's wild. So like, I don't in know how hole. prom is going to teach, I'm a mean, prom, how porn is going to teach people about that as much as it's just going to fucking point out that it's just awful. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I, maybe there is like PC porn out there for people, but I don't know. I mean, it's gotta be what all these fucking you know, Trump lovers watch, right? What? Regular porn, I assume, is there's too many people of color for all the Trump lovers out there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's fucked up, dude. Not everyone who votes for Trump is racist. You're right, but all the racists vote for Trump. That is up for debate. <laughs> um, no, uh, it's, it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, someone said, uh, this is not education. It makes me sick. Something like this is even offered. They fucked up in the article. This is not education. It makes me sick like something like this is offered. I'm so disappointed that anything like this would be offered at an educational institution. People are not happy with this fucking porn. This porn. The porn's not going to last, bro. It's not going to last. Well, you got to imagine. You said it's it's like film 301, so you bro. can't take it as a freshman. So all those fucking frosh that are going in there trying to watch them people get their bones on, not today. Dude, at BYU, I don't think you can like have sex. Cut, what? Yeah. Bro, you think they can't have sex at BYU? You think Zach Wilson wasn't just knee-deep? He, he went to BYU, right? right? Yeah. Wait, who? Zach, Zach Wilson. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but but they what they do, do, and you know what soaking is? Huh? You don't know what soaking is? No. Bro, Mormons do this thing. It's called soaking, and it's genius. Biggest loophole ever. All right? Oh, is it like where they soak like a tampon in alcohol and shove it in their nunge? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. No, soaking. People do that, by the way. Because you can't have sex, right? Yeah. So they will just take their penis and they'll put it in a vagina, right? And, and they'll just lay in it? And they'll just leave it in there and let it soak. What? And they won't have sex, but they'll put it in a, in a vagina and they'll just go... But isn't that the act of having sex, the insertion? No, the act. Well, to yes. them, yes. To them, the the act is like the continuous. So, so the Mormons the don't sawing. view. Sawing. Gotcha. Yeah. So the Mormons don't view the the initial penetration as sex. Yeah. They think so much of themselves that they think like sex is only when you just fucking absolutely bash guts. Yeah. And you go to town on each other. Yeah, but if you just leave it in there, I mean, personally for me, if I. Like put my penis into a vagina. That's the point. I'm. This counts. <laughs> Basket counts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And one, one at the line. And yeah. one. <laughs> and one. Know? That counts. Yeah. Put the points ah. on the board. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. That was not on the floor. No. Yeah. That's the. That's basic. That's just. That's just sex. I don't know how they got around this and how no. No. I think no Mormon wants to avoid that. Like I don't think they want to correct that. They just want to be like, what are you talking about? What's what's what is that? Yeah. I have no idea. It's allowed. Yeah, I mean, here's Urban Dictionary. Uh, <laughs> this just says, like planking. Okay, I know. Only your dick is inside a Mormon. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay, I mean, I guess so. So, yeah. like, they can't even caress each other, hold each other. They just kind of need to, like, put their hands on the their butts or something? Um, I think they, I think probably they just, like, put it in and they just, like, just chill there and they just go. Just, like, shut up. Just, like, damn, this is, like, sick. <laughs> Do you think that would be enough? For who? You. No. You need in and out. You need a little a think, go in and out, do yeah? Do you think, though, at a certain point? Because, like, we're both, like, the inside of a vagina, like, it moves and shit. Look, I like going to the candy store, but I need to get something while I'm there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. I'm not a window shopper. That's penis window shopping right there. That is penis window shopping. 
They go uh, into the store. They try. They try some clothes on, and they're like, they walk out like, no, I'm not gonna get anything. It's kind of like when when like you want a dog really bad, and you go to the pet store and you see a bunch of dogs, and you're like, you know, you're not getting a dog today. Why are you torturing yourself? Yeah, it's penis window shopping, it's, soaking. You're like a masochist in a way. Yeah, honestly, absolutely. <laughs> I would say that's one of the things that we can call them. <laughs> can you imagine that? What do you say or do or look? You don't, Where do you look? You need. I think they, you go in. You go. Well, if they're going in with the mentality of, like, soaking, they obviously are religious, so they need to, like, play it up. So, like, maybe they're in there being like, I hate this, I hate this so much, like, so, like, whatever god or gods that they believe in, like, aren't, like, judging them for it. You know what I mean? So, like, the act of soaking, if it's viewed okay, they probably have the mentality of, like, well, I need to pretend like this is awful. Did you follow anything of what I said? I did. But I don't think that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, it's all bullshit. They 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 want to fung. Yeah, they want to do it. Let the kids fung. Well, n- use protection though. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Protection, man. Oh, also, weren't we talking about condoms on an episode recently? Like yeah. flavored condoms. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I got a DM and someone told me that that they found out they were uh, allergic to strawberries because they. Wow. With a strawberry condom. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I was a bit confused at first because I wasn't realizing what was happening. Well, I, I, I the first place you also, go naturally is someone shoving strawberries. Well, now that I think about it, one, lucky you, finding out you're allergic to strawberries because you sucked on a strawberry-flavored ding condom, dong. condom ding-dong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also... Is this thing actually made out of like strawberries? Yeah, I, I think it's just like un- like it's like non strawberry extract. Yeah, it's like flavoring. It's not like it's like an organic ass condom, dude. Yeah, that's a honestly good for them. Yeah. Whoever gave that condom, they were like about the cause. Made with real fruit juice. That's pretty cool. I don't think most condoms are. You were probably allergic Hell to no. the you know red dye number forty that they put in there. Yeah, probably. You know, plus plus the strawberry fragrance. Right. Yes. Or just yeah. That too. Yeah, I don't think they were. And like, how do you not have strawberries or strawberry flavored thing in any part of your life until you suck on a Billy Bob? That's true too, <laughs> bro. Like a Billy Bob. Yo, honestly, yeah. What the fuck? There's mad strawberries. There's strawberries, regular strawberries. There's fucking like cereal. There's uh fucking lip gloss. There's juice. Yes. There's mad shit, dude. Juice. Yeah, strawberry kiwi. Oh, oh, okay. Like yeah. a, like a smoothie kind of too. Or yeah, like a smoothie. Yeah. Like how do you not have strawberries in any other part of your life? Man, weird. That is weird. But the condom did it. The condom. Did it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you might I think she was off on that. We, one. we might have figured something out for you. Yeah, I don't think it was the ding dong. Send the check to basement yard. Yeah, thank you so much. We just figured out for yeah. you. Yeah. You might be allergic to something else in there. Yeah. Give the strawberries another shot. Yeah, or the latex. Ever think about that? Oh yeah. Maybe you were allergic to the latex. Latex allergies are very real. Also, I got to say this. Sheepskin? No, no, no. I was oh. going to say, I'm all for protecting yourself. But a, but a condom blows. Hey, man, I'm not going to be one to judge. People want to protect themselves. Go for it. They got to make something cooler than a condom for blowgies. I mean, that like, just feels like an extra layer. How have we not made... Hold on. Yeah? How have we not made, like, a gel that... <laughs> Is like acts as a condom, like hand a sanitizer, gel? but for your fucking dick. Oh, wait a sec, spermicidal lube. Yeah, Found. you dumb bitch. Found. It's on every condom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't work that well then. Well, you can't just put it on and be like, oh, I'm just gonna raw dog just it from like here. Just la- like la- lather your fucking beanie bones with some spermicidal lube, and it does the trick. Well, that that kills the sperm, but what about the studs? Well, the yeah, STDs, that, that's the problem too. Yeah, that's I it. think people are would way more. You'd rather an STD than a baby. I, I would. I would think that's a consensus. Unless I know that there are some sexually transmitted diseases out there that could be life threatening. So I'll take. I'll take some gonorrhea before I take a little Tyler or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the name you're going with your first kid. <sighs> Absolutely not. You just gave it the whitest name possible. Tyler. Oh, this is Tyler Santa God. Tyler, get down here. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Can't do it. Because there's no cool name for Tyler. It's a Tyler or Ty. Even worse. Way worse. You know, my mom almost named, named my brother Skyler. Ooh, boy. I was like, dude, I would have disrespected him. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you got to beat him up at that point. Yeah. I was almost... Fuck, what was my other name? Well, if I was a girl, I was Francesca. Which, that name sucks, too. No. Nah. Francesca? I feel like Francescas are, are usually pretty. 
I don't know if I know any Francescas. I mean, you have to know a Francesca. I do. It's just like a very common name. Oh, I know. I don't think I do, Joey. You don't know any Italian people? I'm sure they have a daughter named Francesca. Well, no, all the Italians that I know are Giuliana, Maria, Bo- Lis- Elisabetta, <laughs> Buca de Beppo. <laughs> Elisabetta. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know many Italians like with like names like Ashley Frank. Marie. How many Ashley fucking Maries do you know? I, I knew a bunch of Anne, uh, like Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Or uh, just a Marie. Anything Marie, yeah. I've known so many Marie. I used to do that was like my little trick back in the day sometimes when I was like flirting with girls. I'd be like, I bet I could guess your middle name. And they're like, what is it? Marie, Anne, or Nicole? I would just say Marie every time. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, well, you went to school with like high school, it was like all those like, you know, like Howard Beach, Fresh Meadows Italians (laughs) that like their parents named them like Bucatini. This is my daughter, Rigatoni. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. This is Raviola. This is Fettuccine. Her twin brother, Ravioli. <laughs> Ravi- a- Raviolo. He's a boy. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, there, there's my son over there. Hey. Hey, plum tomatoes. How you doing? <laughs> Prosciutto. Yeah. Capicol. I would love prosciutto right now. There's Nicole. Capicol. We're off the deep end now. Yeah, we've, uh, we're, we're tired. Anyway, yeah, uh, we've 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 dicked around long enough, guys. Go check out the Patreon, patreoncom slash yard Frankie's waxing video. It's over 20 minutes long. Uh, patreoncom slash yard When we get to 11,000, I'm jumping in a Shark Tank. Frank, where can they find you? Ah! <laughs> F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram and Twitch. Hopefully, I'll be making my return to Twitch soon. But if they take that 50/50 revenue, I'll be going fucking somewhere else, bitch. <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, yeah, the page, Patreon, patreon.com slash basement yard. Yep, and you guys can find me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show, The Basement Yard, on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs>